Lee, the machines we look at uh, from Starag tend to be smaller than what we're seeing here. Uh, this is the aerospace technology days and here we have a machine that is we're using a wireless laser measurement solution on blades. Can you explain about the machine and what we're doing? Sure, so this is all about optimization. This range of machines will cover blades from say this sort of size up to four and a half meters long. So different blades for different industries. But what, what we're doing here is we're we're using Starag's um, own cutting tool technology and machine technology to produce a, a blade very quickly but also then to measure it on the machine very quickly. You've got two spindles here, would they both be one supporting the part and one driving the part? Is that how it would work? You, you, you can program these machines in, in a number of different ways. So your A-axis can be drive, your AA axis can float or it can be drive, driven with, with, with synchronisation between the two. You can put tension and compression on the blade if you want to try and tune out any, any, any strange chatter frequencies, for example. And then obviously you want to cut the blades as quickly as you can. But like I said, we're, we're using this, uh, this hexagon piece of equipment now. So, so wireless measurement technology then, why, why do you need it? Why, why are we going away from a touch probe? What's the advantage? Speed. It's speed. So what we can do here is we can scan the profile of the blade after it's been machined to validate that it's conforming. We can do that much quicker than we can with a, with a touch probe. We can also scan the raw material when it comes into the machine and then use the best fit technology to position it in the machine. So it's all about doing this job much quicker than previously. And it creates a point cloud which has got around about 36,000 points on a blade like this. You could never do that with a touch probe, no, could you? not at all, not at all. So you're, you're scanning the complete blade profile here rather than just touching certain points. What do we want this information for? To re-machine or just to clarify that what we're making is, is, is perfect? In this case it's to clarify but we could use the data to then re go in and re-machine.